All right, guys, what's up? And welcome to my channel. This is Tactical Rami TV. Let's get the brightness up on that. Okay. Um, yeah. So currently at this moment, right? I, or, as a matter of fact, before I even go any further, okay. Um, for the YouTube reviewers and the staff and the brass, okay? Everything that you see in this video is an imitation. It is not real. This is Airsoft. This is an Airsoft channel. And we do not promote the sale of firearms or dangerous objects and things like that. Okay. Okay, something is happening outside. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, please pass. Okay, so now, getting back to all right, what I want to do with this video and the whole point of this. Okay. Um... This video is not a sales video. I am not selling anything in this video. And just as a bit of information and disclaimer, right? For those to whom it may concern, um, everything in this video is either broken or not working as it should, right? Just as a disclaimer, this once again is not a selling video. I am not selling anything to anybody that is here that you see in this video. These are items that I am going to give away to somebody for free. I am not selling this to you. This is 100% for free. I do not want anything in this video. Okay? If you are watching this video, and if you subscribe to my page, right? As, well, you know what? You should at least be subscribed to my page if you're watching this video and if you're interested. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel, okay? So basically, these are all um, airsoft toys that either are broken or do not work properly. And what I would like to do is give them away. So. I'm going to go through what I got here. So basically what I have here, and some of it is not, not all of it is on camera right now. These are four things, right? Basically, okay, we're giving this all away. Um, we have four, four items, right? Some are Tokyo Model We. Well, three of them are Tokyo Model We. One is not a Tokyo Model We. I have the USP Compact, the PX4, and the MP7 which are Tokyo Model we, as well as the Baton Staccato with the Chargicon RMR on it, okay? CO2. Those are the four items. I am willing to give away all the magazines for the PX4, all the magazines for the MP7, and all the magazines for the Staccato to whomever is interested in what they see in the video so i'll just kind of take you guys through each one so you guys can see the condition so right this is the usp compact okay this is how it looks right now um currently the hammer is still broken on this one i do have another one that has a hammer that is okay um i basically took the yeah I, I, that the hammer is okay on that one okay so this is a usp compact with a broken hammer all stock right i do have the actual hammer itself so if you want i will give you the hammer that was sourced from tokyo model we, which i did not install you can have that hammer that'll make the process easier for you if you go to an airsoft repair shop or a tech okay so that's the usp compact all right so next we have the baton staccato gen one now for those of you who have watched my channel, you know what my thoughts are on the staccato. Uh, what exactly is wrong with this one? Well, for some reason, it won't feed. I don't know if it is a problem with the frame or the upper, but it has feeding issues. I don't know why. I can't, you know, exactly understand what the situation is. I tried my best. So currently, um, it has most of the paint on it still. If you do want it with the optic, I will give you the optic on it. The optic currently right now, it works a little bit sometimes, I guess. 
um, as well as the mounting plate itself. The mounting plate is probably the most expensive thing on it as well. It's, the mounting plate is about a hundred bucks, I think, roughly. So if you want the whole entire thing, um, you can have the whole entire thing with the magazines, no problem. This is CO2 gas blowback, by the way. This, this, and remember, I am not selling you this. I am giving it to you. So keep that in mind, okay? All right. Going down the line, we have the PX4 Tokyo Model Week, okay? So I spoke about this. It's a single action now, kind of, sort of. I don't know what happened to the lower the, with the trigger spring. It just eventually just went, you know, south. So if you can, I believe that it's fixable. Somebody will want to fix it, and that's great. So as you can see, what the condition of it is, it's still relatively okay. It's not a bad, you know, it's a little bit dinged up. I've had it for about five years. I tried to customize it. I did some inner barrel stuff to it, you know, tried to, you know, pry it open, do a bunch of things. Still relatively good. It's got custom sights on it. So if you can fix it, that's really nice. And we have the... Tokyo Model Wii MP7 gas blowback. This one I needed to get rid of for a long time. It, it works sometimes, but there is an issue with the trigger bar over on the right-hand side, which actually functions with the sear that's on the right-hand side. So there's two sears on the gas blowback MP7, one on the left and on the right, to my understanding, or two engagement points. And basically, the, um, the part on the right-hand side where the tape is, is not functioning well. So sometimes it works, and then when it doesn't, you get sleepy trigger. So right now, currently, let me see. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, see there's a delay. So if you know someone who can get the, this, right now it's working, but there are times when it doesn't work. So if you know someone who can uh, deal with the internals and, and i'm sure these are all very fixable things because it's not shot to complete garbage so somewhere somebody can do something with this it'll be of value to someone i'm willing to give it to you with the site so if you're interested um please drop a comment in the comment section or let me know exactly you know what your situation is i'm currently located in japan so if you're in japan it's a lot easier for me to, I guess, to get it to you. If you're in a foreign country, that may not be possible um, or whatever the case is, right? So once again, I'm not selling this, right? But to who, the people who are in Japan, maybe, you know, you, you watch my channel and you speak English or maybe, you, you, you know, you are Japanese and you watch my channel and you understand English, so... I don't really care who you are. I will give it to you for free. What I am definitely going to do, um, whether somebody contacts me about this or not within the uh, first few weeks or days of the release of this video, is I am going to go to a local airsoft shop. I've already contacted a few and I've let them know that I, I have airsoft toys that I'm going to give away. I'm gonna call them toys that I'm going to give away, right? No problem. So if I don't, whether I hear from, if I, if I hear from somebody beforehand, then of course, right, I'll do the right thing. But if nobody contacts me, I will give these away to the local stores or to Echigoya or somebody. I do not want them, right? And that is the end of this video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching my channel. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you are watching this and you're interested in what you see here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. That's, that's how it should work. And um, be on the lookout for more content. That's it. Um, thank you guys so much and take care.